We're driving in the downtown area today. You may have noticed this mock disaster. We'll tell you what that was all about coming up next. And welcome back to the NTV Evening News Hour. Well, those who were driving in downtown St. John's today might have noticed what seemed to be a motor vehicle accident. But as NTV's Dave Squires reports, there was more to the scene than meets the eye. This may seem like a real car crash behind me, but in fact, it's a setup to promote awareness for impaired driving. And the dramatic scene show the effect that it can have. And people involved today say it's all more important with the long weekend coming up. Although staged, the scenes were dramatic in this mock car crash in front of Mile One Stadium in downtown St. John's. The goal is to educate the public on the dangers of impaired driving. Behind the initiative are organizations such as the RNC, RCMP, and Addictions Treatment Services Association. The scene here is actually a, a vehicle that's uh, went over the medium. It's basically heading uh, eastbound, went over the medium and struck a, a pedestrian, a, a mother with a child in a, in a stroller. The child has, uh, is deceased and the mother is, uh, is still alive with, and the passengers are badly injured and there's one person arrested for impaired driving. Constable Gary Crocker with the RNC says motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death among 12 to 25 year olds and alcohol is a factor in 45% of those crashes. He says it's no coincidence they are trying to bring awareness of the dangers this week. This is May 24th weekend and it's, you know, it's a weekend that a lot of people, a lot of traffic are on the roads and on the highways. Uh, and we want to bring awareness to the people to not drink and drive and be aware. And if you do see a drunk, uh, somebody drinking and driving, you know, we have a 911 campaign. Now you can call and report an impaired driver. Take them off the street. You may save somebody's life. By doing so. Members of the public walking by and motorists slowing down got to see a real-life depiction of what could happen while under the influence behind the wheel. Christine Kerr of Mothers Against Drunk Drivers says although dramatic, it's important for people to get the message. Because this is totally preventable. You know, people do not need to be killed or injured. This is something that's totally preventable. And if we just plan ahead, uh, you know, if we make, we remember not to drink and drive. Have a Dave Squires, NTV News.